So number nine from paper two of the 2023 advanced tyre, two mark question for, now it's just change number base. Now there may well be other techniques that you can use, I've seen things involving the Euclidean algorithm, but essentially it's just put them into piles of nine. So it doesn't say use a particular technique, which just means if you had 572 things sitting there, how many bundles of nine could you make from that? Well, that would be six, three, with five left over. You could have 63 bundles of nine, five left over. Now see, these bundles of nine, see these, how many bundles of nine you could make? That'd be exactly seven with none left over. Look, there's two marks for this question because that's the answer then. There was five left over, that's in the units column. There was none left in the piles of nine column but there was seven in the piles of nine nines column, the nine squares column, so it's 705 base nine. Number 10 then, for five marks, a curve's defined by this, which is that awkward little exponential part of the equation, find dy by dx. Well, the way you deal with ones where the variable is in the exponent position is you take logarithms. So that the logarithm of y will be the logarithm, oh, let's put it down first of all, since there's five marks, I'm not sure it's worth five marks, will be the logarithm of x to the power of 5x squared. And the reason for that now is you can extract that power. So that'll be 5x squared times ln x. And we can put all these down because they're positive. Now it's just a case of differentiate it. That's a function of a function. Y is a function of X. So the log part would give 1 over the Y, then differentiate the Y with respect to the X. That's a product. 10X, leave that one alone. Leave that one alone now and differentiate that and it just goes to 1 over X. Now we'll just tidy that up first of all. So that's 10X ln X plus, and that's just 5X. Now to get dy by dx on its own then, you take the y across and multiply. Well, I'll show that, I'll just do that, okay. It's a waste of a line, but there we are. 10x ln x plus 5x. Or I could take that 5x out as a common factor. But what was y? y was x to the 5x squared. So it's that times 10x ln x plus 5x. Now, is that all they want for their answer? Because that's it done now. You could make it, you could go a stage further and take out 5x as a common factor. So taking out 5x would give you a 5 for a coefficient, but another x to stick onto this pile of x's, which would bump that up to 5x squared plus 1. And then having taken that out, you'd only be left with a 2 here. So 2 ln x or 2 or ln x squared, 2 ln x will put down, plus 1. But I don't think they want you to go as far as that one. I think that's the one that would do.